guys. Can someone let me inside? Someone let me in. So my main goal with, I guess, I knew this would Um, my main goal with setting up YouTube and recording all this was like just to record like step by step my little venture on creating my new online business as I said at the start but it took me 16 minutes to explain um, so I have now taken the first steps that were given to me and that was to book in 10 people for phone calls to uh, basically just interview them and get an idea from a whole range of people about what you know like what they already know um, what they'd like to know what they would pay to know um, you know just a whole heap of random questions so I can sort of take that away and break it down and be like right this is what people want kind of thing so that was really cool um, I had a few people that had like slid into my DMs from um, the YouTube videos and stuff saying like I'd love to help you kind of thing so that was cool I was like what the hell like I haven't even put anything out there to get people interested in making a call other than mentioning it in my video um, and I already had you know quite a few lined up and then I literally just put a post on Instagram like just saying like if you fit into the, any of these categories um, let me know and if you help me I'll help you kind of thing um, and holy shit, I was literally overwhelmed with the response that I got. Like, obviously, like, people are letting me know that they they fit into the categories that I had mentioned, which was, like, um, hang on, I'll just read it, because I'm probably going to forget, and then look like a dick. Um, so I said, if you're, if you want to better understand flexible eating, um, if you want to be able to manage your own eating habits without a meal plan or a coach, and that one is huge for me because I just feel like, like I said in my first video, people just constantly just throw their money away, just telling people, like having people just hand them what they need rather than just learning and you could keep your money. <laughs> like, and I've said it right from the start with any of my clients. Like, I would never, ever, ever be offended if a client left me and said I've left because I'm confident in what I'm doing now. That is a win for me. I'm like, I have taught you what you need to be able to go and do it by yourself. That, like, is the ultimate goal kind of thing. So that was my second one. The third one was that if you just want to understand, like, basic nutrition, um, if you want to start a fitness journey but you don't know where to start, and I know that feeling so well because you're like I want to do something about my body or my weight or my health and you're like but what <laughs> like where do I start and then you're just like overwhelmed so I get that um and then the last one was like if you watch my youtube video and you want to be a part of what I'm currently creating so like the fact that so many people replied and like fit into those categories is huge like and you know people putting their hand up to help me and I had to cut it off in 45 minutes because I had booked all my time slots and I was literally thinking like I'm gonna be booking these calls for a week and then you know people are gonna be like oh I can't do this day. I'm gonna have to do this day I can't do this day. I'm gonna have to do that day and it is gonna be like a whole two-week process and I literally booked 11 hours of work in 45 minutes and that was like surreal to me I was like holy shit there's people out there that fit the description of who I want to help and they're willing to help me and I'm like and, oh my god once it's done like I can help them how cool so anyway that was that and that was like just super exciting for me I had to set up a um, Calendly link which is just like a booking system um, and sent that out and I feel like so fancy smancy like just going into my scheduled events and I'm like look at all my meetings booked fancy fancy zoom meetings too like check me out um so yeah my last one is on Tuesday and then it will be up to step two which I don't know what that will be um but the last sort of task that I need to do is fill out a brief let's call it um, describing my ideal client so I thought that I would do this on here so here we go so the first one is describe your 
dream client, your dream person that if you had an endless amount of them, who would they be and like what would they be like to make you, me, successful, I guess. So my dream client. Um, my dream and ideal client would be someone who is willing to learn. That's like the main thing. Someone who is like just willing to put in a little bit of work to gain like a lifetime of uh, confidence, I guess, is what you're gaining out of it. Um, someone who doesn't just want everything handed to them on a silver platter or to be spoon fed. That is like my pet hate when, you know, you get clients who want every little thing just like handed to them, like, you know, you know what I mean? Like they want fucking every little micro thing that you can think of managed by you and told by you and adjusted by you and they don't even know why, they just want you to do it all. That is like my pet hate. Um, so the demographic and gender, um, I don't really have an ideal. Like I feel like I'm going to reach out to a lot more females than I am males, but I feel like I could definitely help a lot of males just understand these basics. Um, which, yeah, male or female, once you know them, like you'll be surprised at how easy life and like eating and things like that can be. Um, the location, again, doesn't bother me because I'm going to be online, so it feels really cool to be able to think like, I could be serving someone in New York, like helping someone in New York work out this method. That's pretty cool. Um, occupation, again, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who you are, what you do. Like, I can help you, everyone eats. So, <laughs> That's not uh, that's not a thing. Household income doesn't matter. I don't want this to be something that's like super super expensive. I want it to be affordable. Um, but I'm obviously putting in a lot of work and I'm putting in a lot of value, and I know how valuable it is. So I want people to sort of see that and believe that. Material status doesn't matter. Values. I don't really like. I don't think. Like values are going to affect my client as long as they're, like I said, willing to learn, um, trusting. I need someone that's going to trust me to give them what they need. Um, personality, funny because that just makes my life much easier. If I could deal with funny people every day, that would make me happy. So try to be funny. If you're going to be one of my clients, like tell me jokes, that would be good. Um, fears and goals. Um, fears, I guess, like, same as me, like the fear of like taking a big step to change their life. But obviously, I don't want them to be fearful of that, like, I want them to actually do it. Because if they're fearful, they're not going to do it. That doesn't make sense. Scratch that. Can I edit this out? Probably not yet. Um, and yeah, their goals would just be to be able to be in complete control and confident in what they're doing with their diet and you know their mindset to health and fitness. I think that's it. That's pretty cool. When I say that out loud, I'm like, if I can attract those type of people, my job is going to be freaking incredible. And that makes me so excited. Anyway, next one. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to do them all because there's actually heaps, but one thing that frustrates my ideal client the most. Um, I think it would be trying and failing, which I see so often. People try diets, fail, try to start their fitness journey, fail. I mean, it's not a fail, but in their eyes it's a fail, and um, that's frustrating, and I get that, and I just think that like my ideal client is going to is yeah will have experienced that to be able to truly value what I can give them to know that they're never going to feel that way again like <laughs> I just got like a little goosebumps I'm like imagine being able to do that for someone that's sick I 
feel a little like my girl. Anyway, um, how many times? I know it's your bed, but come on, let's share. All right, what is the root or underlying underlying cause of a problem that they're dealing with, and are they aware of this? And I think that's probably very similar to the last one. The underlying cause of the problem that they have, my ideal client has, is that they just haven't put in the time to learn. Like that's literally as simple as it is. Anyone that comes to me with any questions, like literally just hasn't put in the work to find, like obviously they're putting in the work to find out the answer by asking me, um, but they haven't just given it time to trial and error and to learn. So I think that's the underlying cause of anyone's problem with trying to work out how to nail an ideal diet, mindset with food and things like that. It's just that they haven't really truly committed to it. Okay, I'm gonna make this the last one, even though there's heaps, but I actually need to write them out instead of record them. So this is the last one. Um, what does my perfect client want more than anything else? Um, they want confidence in what they're doing. They want to be able to feel like strong and knowledgeable and able to like know, believe that they're able to achieve whatever the fuck they want with their body just by learning these things. Like, I don't know how to explain it in any other way. Like if I can learn this and I learned it like over time, but basically like my first trainer just said to me, here's my fitness pal. Let's set these macros, play around with it, do your thing. And I like fell in love with that process. I was like scanning foods and like learning about foods and like, you know, trial and error for so long. Like it's been five, six years now and I still am like excited by it. Like going into coals and being like, oh, that's high protein, sick. I'll be able to have that as like my after lunch or whatever, you know what I mean? So yeah. what I was saying <laughs> that's what I was saying so yeah I learned that and I had no idea what I was capable of and within that, the first six months of learning that I I'm not talking myself up but like it was my first time in the gym and like taking nutrition seriously and I got fucking shredded for stereo like probably the leanest I've ever been but that was not the leanest I've ever been I've been leaner for comps but like just for like day-to-day -day life I got pretty shredded and that was sick and then like to be able to use this method in literally my whole life I went to America for five weeks and I used this method for a bit until I just gave up because I was like American food is so high in fats just let it go um but like yeah I've been on holidays I've been in Bali and just like tracked my whole holiday still been able to live it up but stay in shape um and I think even just by like knowing these basic things, even if you're not implementing them, it just makes you so much more confident in what you're doing. So yeah, being on holiday um, and doing it, and then like comps. I have done a lot of bikini comps and used this method. And I wouldn't do it any other way just because it's what works for me. It's flexible and that's the best part. Like. Anyone can do it, and you can do it for any goal, and yeah, that's what my perfect client would want more than anything else. To be able to know that they can do whatever they want with their body with this method. <laughs> okay, now I've actually got to write them all down, and there's heaps. There's quite a few questions, which there's seven pages of questions, so that's my little homework and then once I've done that my next step is going jumping on calls and I've got two calls tomorrow and then the rest are on Saturday and Monday which is super exciting um, and I think I will post this after those so 